Hi everyone, um, I just want to quickly show you how to upload the new textbook into your Canvas shell if you've already had your shell created. So first thing is you have to locate your course and go into modules. Um, and my textbook, my old edition, is located in my first module here, Instructor and Student Supplementary Materials. Yours might be located somewhere different, but you want to locate where the textbook is in your Canvas shell. And I'm going to take and find that textbook, and this is my first edition. And over on the right side, you'll see three dots. If you click on those three dots, you can actually remove that file. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove that file from this module. Now I need to add the new edition. So up here in the top in that module, there's a plus sign. And I'm going to click on that plus sign. And now I'm going to choose to add a file. And I'm going to create a new file. And so I'm going to choose the file. And mine is located in my OneDrive. So I'm going to go into my OneDrive. And yours will be somewhere different, possibly in your downloads or wherever you saved it. And now I'm going to find that second edition. And I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to open it. It will appear right here next to Choose Files. And I'm going to add that item. Now it will take Canvas a few minutes to upload that. So I'm going to wait till it finishes uploading. And what happens is when it's uploaded, Canvas actually puts it at the very bottom of the module. So you'll have to scroll down to the end of that folder or that module, and there it is. There's my new upload. Now I want to move it to where it was before. And so I'm going to click, I'm going to drag and drop it. So I'm going to move it by dragging and dropping, and it's going to go right here in the textbook spot. You can also accomplish this by clicking on the three dots here on the right side and using the Move To feature. One other thing you might want to choose to do is edit the title. So let's just say you want to call it Math 120 Textbook. So Math 120 Textbook second edition and I'm going to click update and so now I have it renamed and it's perfect. Now you might also want to add all those new chapters in for your students. Each module has a separate chapter to make it easy for students we've broken it up that way. So you want to repeat the same process. You want to locate your old file so this is the old textbook. I want to go here to the right three dots and I want to hit remove and it's going to be OK. And now what I want to do is add my new file. So again, I click on the plus sign. I want to create a new file. I want to choose that file. And I'm going to go down here and find my file. It's going to be chapter one, geometry PDF. I'm going to open it. Make sure that's the right file and add that item. I do want to say that there is one chapter, chapter five, module five, that had no revisions. So if you're adding in these files, chapter five or module five, you just skip. There was no revisions on that chapter, so I didn't send any updates. So that one can stay the same. Again, that's module five. But coming back here to module one, Notice my new file is right here. I'm going to put it again. I had it put right underneath my learning objectives. If you'd like to retitle it, you go to Edit. And let me call it something. Let me call it um, Textbook. I'm going to call it Module 1 Geometry. And I'll update it. And that's it. Um, I would go repeat the process for all the other modules. Again, module 5 did not change, so there's no file for that particular module, but you can update all the other modules in the same fashion. Delete the old one and add the new. One other thing is if your home page is linked to the textbook, so if you have course tiles and you've chosen to keep those and one of them is right here located to your textbook, you want to go in and you want to change that link so it links to the new textbook. If you go right here under the edit at the top, 
you can click on the individual tile okay so if I click on my textbook tile I'm gonna remove that old link and again this is only if you want to and you have tiles linked to your old edition and now what I want to do for that tile is I want to link it to the new file I just uploaded okay so I'm gonna link it right here um, actually I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to link it into my course document and my document is that new textbook that I just uploaded so I'm gonna click on that and it should have appeared here and I'm gonna make sure I go down and save and now that new link is right appearing and if I click on that textbook file it will take me into that second edition now. If you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, hopefully this helps you get all that those new editions uploaded into your Canvas shell.